All right, people, welcome back. Time and why. So we're doing something different this week. Uh, we're just gonna play some Yu-Gi-Oh decks of the past or or new ones that maybe possibly we want to add to the current lineup of you know Arc Fiend and stuff like that. So uh, today we're gonna try Umber you Build. I've been trying to record this video and I've just been having the hardest of times. Like I would get shitty hands combined with just people being super scrubs and. I was just like, you know what, fuck it, I ended up, I think this is like my third recording, and I was just like, man, fuck it, so, uh, I've been trying a different deck each recording, and every single time I'm just like, I don't feel like doing this, I don't feel like doing this, I don't feel like doing that, so, uh, anyway, we're gonna try out Umbra Evo, you know, uh, I've always been interested with Umbras, but, you know, I just never really saw anything come out of them, so I, I definitely understand, so once per turn, you can make this card attack zero, and if you do, start summon one Umbra monster with zero attack from your hand, okay. Oh, I'm going against Medoches. Alright, well, this duel is definitely going to be difficult. Uh, hopefully I can draw into something, you know. Because I'm probably going to go ahead and exit on him. Just because... <laughs> Medoches, I mean, this deck is easily, easily uh, like a, a low-grade tier 2 deck, you know. It can outpace me, it can out-resource me, and it can easily just, you know, wreck me. So, uh, go ahead and exit on him wouldn't be a terrible idea. But hopefully I can go ahead and set up the Exiton, that is. So, number generator is interesting. Foolish Allure and uh, Rhoda. Those all cards at one. Hmm. Alright, well, uh, now I can go ahead and do this. So I can go ahead and summon him. Once per turn, I can make this card to tank zero. And if I do, there's no one over Harrow monster from, with a zero attack from my hand. So I can go ahead and make you zero. I mean, and then summon you. XC and the Exiton. And clear up these guys. And you get nothing. You get nothing. I guess I'll go ahead and foolish you, Bell. Why not? Like, fuck it. Uh, I guess I'll go ahead and deck then. Because I'm literally not doing anything. Wow, all of these are together. Like, alright. So, what's different about this deck besides, you know, the Umbros and stuff? They, they do have a little bit of synergy uh, with some of the plays that I can possibly do. Uh, I guess I'll go ahead and grab an arm again. Mm. There's really no one I really need, you know? I'm still trying to figure out, you know, how much I got a foolish and stuff like that. And they got this guy who's like a, like a, a like a wolf bark. This guy sends from the hand. This guy sends from the graveyard. This guy, I don't even know what you do. Become the current level. It's just another I mean, target, okay. And then we got this card, which I can take two monsters, zero defense. Including you if I want it, but I probably don't. <laughs> and, uh... Add it back to my hand to recycle my play, so it's definitely more of like a rank four base deck. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, normal summon you. Use your effect, drop you down to zero. Special summon you. Oh, with a U2. Uh, this deck does run like rank up and stuff, so hopefully, maybe possibly we can go ahead and pull off plays like that. Go ahead and exit on him, wipe that, clean that shit up. Especially since you didn't set any back or anything, like just just clear up your Mendoza. It's like no, ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> yep, you go back to the deck. You go back to the deck. You go to the grave. Hmm. Now the question is, do I want to activate alert? I mean, right now this card is not that useful, so I think you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and activate the alert. I'd rather go ahead and see the next two cards. Okay. Well, I got this guy. Like I said, it's kind of like the 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 wolf bark kind of guy. I could try a level four dark monster and graveyard with zero attack. It sucks that it's zero attack. If it wasn't zero attack, then of course I would play this in like Ebel decks and stuff like that, just like Mask Million. Mm. The ultimate nightmare. Okay. Like I said, and one of the reasons why we were planning on doing such drastic changes when it came to when it came to uh uh to uh, vitamin Y is because I want to be less reliant on multiple sending. You know, multiple sending is definitely a problem that I've been running into with a couple of decks, and that's the reason why I really started changing things around. So, uh, not only do we have Druid, but we also have uh, Mask Queen as well, who can summon, you know, a lot of these monsters because that's their defense. So, you know, definitely just a really strong rank 4 based deck. Now, the question is what I want to do. I mean, there's not a lot of Medochi monsters that can even stop my plays, so I'm not really too afraid. I think I'll just go and discard special. I only run one Dark Graffer, just in case I draw you, Bell. 
you know, it's more of an Armageddon Knight thing. Then I guess Armageddon Knight can send terror, so I don't draw that, and I guess kick some tack, kick some butt. Again, what? Yeah, I would say again, what? <laughs> I haven't done anything. Just been thinking. Just kind of special, normal effect. Okay, maybe I should be bad and maybe run more than one. Uh, I mean, I like that this deck is rank four base, but the problem I'm having with it is where am I going with these rank fours? You know, there's like I said, there's not there's not a lot of utility. Uh, rank fours. Oh, he's running some psychic. Uh, that ghost Stoker? That's definitely a psychic I've been saying a lot. So you let you get that ghost Stoker snow rabbit. Okay. So psychic Madoches. Okay. If you would have told me psychic Madoches, I'd have been like, nah, no, 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 that's dumb. Like, okay. I think that was a thing in the past. I don't know. If I'm gonna run other things besides Madoches, I'd rather run hands, because they apply a lot of pressure, you know. Right, Madoches can already possibly apply a lot of pressure with, you know, Tiramisu like that, but then, you know, you're running shit like this, to, like, play a nice hand too, like, damn. All right. And special summon that bitch, which is supposed to summon you can. We can play the top card of your deck face down. And then when this card is moved from the field, you can add that card to your hand. Okay. Yeah, it's the Serene Psychic Wish Esper Girl combos. So, you know, I got these two in my hand, which I said uh, allow me to do rank uh, rank 4 plays. It's just the rank 4, there, there's not a lot of enablers, but a lot of countering. You know, and if I'm already set, you know, then I'm already set. You know, this is an enabler, and then who else is really an enabler? Not really anybody else, you know, chain was. So, like, you know, for example, if he goes into, like, a Tiramisu right now, then, all right, well, I will respond to Tiramisu with, you know, one of my enabler effects, you know, like 101 or Castell or something along those lines. Like I said, I'm running, you know, rank-up cards, because I would like to do some rank-up plays. We really haven't had a rank-up deck here on Vitamin Y, so... Maybe we could do something with that. Of course, gonna go ahead and grab that Jelly. Like I said, Madoches can completely outclass me, so I need to definitely be careful when it comes to this deck. He's still up on resources, so that's the thing. You know, especially with her searching and stuff. Like, he's up on resources, so. Let's see if he sets or anything? No, okay. So, what do you do? When this card is normal summon or such summon, you could target one Umber Monster you control. Or in your graveyard, except this card, this card becomes that level when this attack position card is destroyed by bouncer graveyard. And face up attack position, I start dump strap, destroy the monster that destroyed this card. Oh. So I gotta take damage and I and with a zero attack monster and I get to go ahead and smack him back with damage. Like, okay, I guess. It's not the best of cards, but it's not I guess it's not the worst of cards either. So I guess I'll just go ahead and go uh King Effect. Go ahead and grab me another mass chameleon. Actually, I can grab me a Kage. I forgot I ran Kage in this deck. Hmm. Wouldn't be terrible. Hold on, let me see. Like I said, I know it's coming. I know the Tiramisu is coming. So, <laughs> there's not much I can do to prepare, of course. There's not much I can do to prepare. Uh, you don't do anything. You're just gonna get fucking wiped away. So, I mean... Yeah, there's not much I can do. I just, I, I, I'm... There's not a lot of, you know rank fours that can respond to, that can prepare for plays only rank fours that respond to plays you know it's not like I can summon like a Dora or like a Felgram and you know 
prepare ahead of time. It's always responsive. Like, oh, you well, you did this, so I'm gonna go ahead and hit you with this. It's not like, well, oh, I know what you're deaf. This is gonna, this is coming. So allow me to go ahead and summon this in response. Not really. I mean, the only one that I have like that's kind of like that's like giant hand, but you know, I don't have my rank up cards. But like I said, it definitely seems like I can bust out some rank fours. It definitely feels like I can bust out some rank fours, but you know, where am I going with this? Uh, that was the problem I was having when I made the deck. I'm like, you know, where, where, where am I going with this deck? I guess a win's a win, but you know, generally I feel like I like to set up plays and you know, combo. This deck is kind of like really responsive. Like, yeah, yeah, you can go ahead and bust out that tiramisu, but yeah, I mean, if you don't have any backer, I will have the answer for her. But I say I I'll have the answer for you. <laughs> wow! So you don't have you know the monster to go with it to the level three. You have the level three. You can go to full combo turn soon. Now, not really. I mean, you're gonna go ahead and course summon who okay? unless you have institution. If you have institution, then yeah. So who who go ahead and banish on jelly some messenger gelato messenger gelato search. Definitely know this deck. I know this deck with fucking ease. Like come on, this deck's really good. You know. I mean, it's in the league, and that's a tier 3 for some odd reason. It definitely deserves 2-2, two, two, but we completely forgot about it. Madonche. That's our bad. But, you know, this deck's still really good. Combos really well. Uh, Tiramisu is just a great-ass boss monster. So go ahead and summon that Mess in Gelato. Mess in Gelato, search for either your field spell or your ticket. You know? And if you have Instafusion, activate Instafusion. I said you, you, you're gonna have to push. You're definitely gonna have to push. But see, the problem with uh, if you don't push right now, you just leave the things that is it is. I will exit on you again because, like I said, you're you're still out resourcing me. <laughs> you, you you're plusing like crazy. So the monster that's summoned by Angeli cannot be destroyed by battle. Yeah. You forget that I forget that effect often just because I generally do other things with the monster. All right, grabbed another ticket. Play the ticket. You got that insta fusion. Is it all Madoche cards or all Madoche monsters? This card has all Madoche monsters. Okay. Don't come at me. Wipe all your shit. Don't come at me. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Those two go back in the deck. Like, get the fuck out of here. I mean, I guess you really want me to go ahead and come after me instead of me getting you, but it's still the same result. I guess now you can go ahead and set some back row, though. Oh, or not. <laughs> mm. Okay, I should be able to wrap this duel up. I said, if it wasn't, if it was anything but Medoches, because, like I said, I can, I can go to you, I can go to you, I had some power plays, it's just, you know, Tiramisu is just like, go back, like, oh, thanks, <laughs> you know, thanks. Make me feel some type of way. <laughs> so I guess I'll go ahead and summon you, summon you, go into hot, tack, tack game, because I don't believe that this deck runs anything like Battle Fader or Cisco Crow or anything along those lines. Of course, you run the Mr. Tomato. Because the Mystic Tomato can do plays like that too. What do you do when you send your um, Express Summon two Umbra monsters? Oh, so I guess the idea is if that's my only lashes where I could take my monster, cry. No, I don't want to see. No, I'd rather Synchro. So I guess the idea is if it's my last resort, I can go ahead and ram my. Uh, Monster, I take the damage and summon two umbers and then do something main phase too, like a 101 or Castell or something like that. But the rank 4 engine's just it's so responsive, not enough uh, uh, pre preparation. But I need another duel in. Not a lot of enablers, not a lot of setup, not a lot of prepares. Oh, that's the engine, so I guess pretty much I just play and wait for my opponent to respond. If not, and beat the crap out of them. That's pretty much how this deck plays, huh? Okay, 
summons. Of course, the Mystic Tomato can go ahead and summon you Belt, summon Armageddon Knight, can summon the Umbra, so it can do things. Okay. I said it's kind of just a little bit slower because I don't have a wall train. If I had a wall train, I can go summon, summon, and you know, do that play. Kalyas will probably come in handy. Oh, please don't be using Denklaw that deck because that's not fun. Hmm. Do you think that's a little aggressive for first turn? I don't know, maybe it's just me. That just seems a little aggressive. So, I guess I'm going to go ahead and summon Armageddon Knight, and then summon Kage. Armageddon Knight, go ahead and send an Umbra. I don't care, because you can summon the Umbra, and you can summon the Umbra, so... I said it's more responsive deck. He went kind of aggressive with the with the blade armor, but alright. So, you know, hopefully that back row something stop me, so he can go ahead and chop my ass up, because if he stops my play, then, you know, I, I'll be in the open to go ahead and take 44 damage plus whatever else he summons next turn. So, mm. so I'll go ahead and get my effect down. So I don't trust that back row. So your play came across a little bit aggressive for going first turn. Yeah, I'll go ahead and drop you. And I guess I'll overlay you two into like a I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I guess I want a one. See? See? I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I knew that was going to happen. Now he's just going to go ahead and just chop me up with the fucking blade armor. Like I said, he wouldn't have gone aggressive with it if it wasn't for that. Oh, great. And now I'm going to fucking get wrecked by T. Compulse T. King. Damn you, fucking number generator. God. Well, this is fucking awesome. Now, as soon as I go and do an inherent summon, I'm just gonna get fucking wrecked. Like, oh, thank you. Now I can't play, play, play fucking Rota. I'm like, oh, great, thank you, thank you. Maybe I should run some monsters that can, instead of ranking up, maybe do like three level fours. Shit, man, I just fucking do infinity. Fucking number generator. God. Like, oh yeah, I got the compulse. Oh, yeah, and Thunder King too. Like, it's like your first, like, your fu fucking opening hand. Stupid. Oh my god, yeah, there's no way I can fucking get out of this because I have to, I do, all I do is inherit something. Man, shut the fuck up. I hate when people do that. Oh, no, play it through. You know, like, no. As soon as I do something, I'm going to lose. Like, that's it. I lost. I lost. <sighs> as soon as I go into an inherent summon, he's just going to T-King me. I mean, that's it. Just attack me directly. That's it. Yeah, you got it. You got it. I said, you got it. I got nothing. I got nothing. I don't know. No. Like a number generator, of course, is gonna wreck me. And of course, I draw terror. It's like, oh, thank you, thank you, thank you for allowing me to draw terror. And like, oh, you want to see a number generator? Like, get one more dolan. And said, maybe I should put some monsters. Like I said, maybe I should just throw fucking infinity in here. Fuck it. Why not? Why not? I have like, you know, I can summon like three level four, so fuck it. On the Batola Miles going to Nova going to Infinity. Now that's a now that's a uh wall card right there. That's a preparation card right there. That is a solemn fucking judgment. You can't get more preparatory than being able to negate anything. I said I probably could have done something with it. that Thunder King though. That Thunder King. Who goes aggressive with that fucking... Like I said, I was screwed either way. If I didn't do anything, I was going to get fucking compulsed and wrecked. And if I did something, I was going to get compulsed and wrecked. And the teaching was going to lock down all my inherent summons, so I was going to get wrecked either way. I was fucked. So, GG. <laughs>
Well, my opponent here doesn't have an extra deck, so I don't trust him, but I guess I'll go ahead and take the duel slow, see what he's doing. Hopefully we can get Alaska duel in this video. Or not, or not. Or or my opponent could be using something. Great. Ugh. <sighs> Still get my effect. And like knowing my luck, he'll probably go ahead and have the counter trap, so. Uh, I guess I'll go ahead and summon. So I pretty much I have to get rid of the Necker Valley, or I straight up can't play, so. Uh that's uh, that's that's uh, just grand. That's just grand. You're the one that when you're destroyed, you summon two umbras. Okay. I guess I'll summon you, I mean, send you Bell. Uh, this is fucking great. <laughs> Gay creep, Grave Creepers. I got two cards that, of course, summon from the graveyard. Umbras that like to summon from the graveyard, and you're gonna fucking do this to me. Like, great. Great. Alright, well. Guess I'll attempt to exit on them, and if I can't pull that off, then I guess I'll. That's not what Necro Valley does. It's not what Necro Valley does. Cards can't be moved from the graveyard. I can put things in the graveyard. Really? Really? You don't know what Necro Valley does? Really? I put the card in. Oh my god. In the grave. Oh my god. In the grave. Not moved it out. I still put things in there. Like, dude, read the sentence. Negate any card effect that would move a card in the graveyard other than itself to a different place. I put a card in the graveyard, not moved it out. Fucking grave keepers. Are you done? I said, I'm gonna have a hard enough time in this duel. Like I said, knowing my luck, you're probably gonna have. I said, knowing my luck, I'm probably gonna go ahead and get hit with the fucking uh, counter trap card, so that's great. My cup's cool. Maybe I should play a little bit of both. Uh, I guess I'm gonna go ahead and summon you and then attempt to exit on. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. He has one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, he has more than me. So. Uh, let's try it. And if he has his counter trap card, then I'm fucked. Good. I'll be fucked. <laughs> Oh, fuck it, let's let's attempt it. The gravekeepers told me the counter trap card, which is not the there it is. Alright. Alright. I admit defeat. There's nothing I can fucking do. Damn, I can't get a big decent duel in this video. And then you wonder why I sat here and recorded over and over and over. Like I said, this is my third recording. This is my third fucking recording. Me just sitting here recording over and over and over and over and over because I can't get it to get a duel. There's people acting like scrubs and quitting me, getting hit a shitty hand and losing, or nothing happens to the duel. Like one, well, literally one video was literally I was playing um, Evil Hero Yuval, and the guy. Uh, wow. All right. I definitely dark refer. Which one are you? Okay, I'm gonna wear you. Keep on forgetting that you draw then banish. Yeah, I don't really need you because I've got armor again and I need to get my place set up, but wow, drawing you bell when alright, well, I mean I run Dark Refer in Rota, so hopefully that's the reason why I run Dark Refer, just in case I draw fucking you, so. What? Everybody wants to join next season. I don't even know what I want to do right now. Really, I just want to get a decent duel on Feynman Wire, so that's what I would really like to do.
Look at my sin, this guy. Ah, that opened up booty. And of course I get the umber guy who does like nothing for me right now. I said this hand would be decent if I didn't draw you bell. Oh, what, are you, what could you possibly be using with no extra deck? Consoles don't play an extra deck? Oh, I could have thought they played an extra deck. You don't have to show me your hand, just reveal the card to one in return. It's fucking stupid. <sighs> well, thanks for showing me your Usagi. I said, lots of people are using Cosmos. That's an expensive ass deck, though. You know, it's like your Galaxy Cyclone, fucking your Ghost Oak or Snow Rabbit. Expensive ass fucking deck. Fucking good bitch. Just expensive ass fucking. Uh, not good bitch, uh, town. Whatever, I, I don't know. Uh, Farm Girl, that's her name. Oh, none of these fucking monsters. Open up like ass. So, pretty much, if I don't draw my fucking. Some of my guys that can go ahead and summon out of the graveyard, I will not have much place. Oh, I'm getting nine. Do I like Armadies in here? I probably don't, even though I could. Because I can go summon you, then you summon you, and then sink into a five. I might go ahead and go summon. Oh, well. I think. Ah, uh, it's not going to work. It comes down to his back row. I'm going to go ahead and normal summon. Because even if I go activate Exoton Fed, you know. Yuki, I mean, Ghost Walker Snow Rabbit, I can't want to call her Yuki Usagi, but Ghost Walker Snow Rabbit doesn't negate, so I'm still gonna wipe. So it comes down to the back row. Like usual. Oops. Ugh. Oh my god. Whatever, at least I got him in the graveyard. Really? Come on. Thank you. Guess I'll go ahead and activate this during the end. Because as soon as I summon Mask Command and activate the fact, I'm going to get hit with the... with the... Ghost Over, so... Look how, uh, like, the one duel where I could do fine if I would just not draw you bell, I draw you bell. Like, this is, this always happens. This this happened last week with you bell keys, too. Like, every other duel, I'm just open up fine, and it's just like, don't draw you bell, draw you bell. And then the whole fucking shit falls apart. Like, mass chameleon, limit reverses. Like, this is perfect for just you bell being in the graveyard, but, of course, I didn't fucking get Dark Graffer. Like, hey, number generator. You you gave him warning. Can I get can I get Rota Dark Graffer? I run one of each in this deck, so that'd be great. I'd be really appreciative. I'd be super appreciative. It doesn't work like that. You know what? Sure. Oh, cool. Reoccurring. I got him to use the Ghost Ogre Sonata, that's all I want him to do. So, yeah, I guess I'll go ahead and summon you, summon you, go into x right. And I'd have one, two, three, so it's one, two, three, four, you know? The wipeage would be real, that'd be great. And... <sighs> Just go. Just, just, just fucking go. Oh my god. This is, this is just a duel. I said, 
you know, just weird like that. Like this is this that's really responsive to my plays, but if I can't respond to my opponent's plays, then I'm just gonna get keep on getting hit with back row. You gave him Book of Moon and Solemn Warning, can I get Rhoda Dark Grabber? That'd be great. That'd be great, I'd be really appreciative. No, that's Stace. Chain Stace. Because I got unequipped from your chain when you book a moon me for some odd fucking reason. Just wasting your book a moon. Put chain back. <sighs> Chameleon was unequipped from the chain when you booked it. People don't know shit. No! What did I just say? I just stated what happened. Put the chain back. If you, As soon as you booked me, I was unequipped from the chain. Holy shit. Flip it back up. Thank you. I mean, fucking crazy. I mean, there's really no point in me exit hunting now. I can go ahead and activate recurring though. I'm not really in a hurry to be doing much of anything though. I'm just going to set this tomato. I could push soon enough. Too bad I can't summon Dark Ref Ralph tomato. That'd be great. That would be great. Hmm. On the field. On the field. Oh my god. Read your own cards. Shit. Stupid fucking idiot. Oh yeah. I swear to god. Who's the one that when it's like destroyed, I get to summon two? Yeah, I want to summon you. Expensive ass deck. Summon Armageddon get a night and then still going for Exiton. Nah, I mean, that really wouldn't change anything. I get rid of his fill spell because his fill spell seems like it's gonna be a prominent feature. I just, I just don't trust him with the fucking uh, Ghost Rider since he just wants to keep on throwing it at my ass all the fucking time. You're not special, so can't even activate you and block, so there's no point in me doing that. You want the other ghost to grab me? See if I can bait you into using the ghost ogre. I kind of want to. Uh, I'm just that dark graffer and that red are looking real. Oh, they're at the fucking bottom of the deck, of course. Go ahead and throw the ghost ogre at me. Okay, that's fine. 
Okay, that's fine. Straight up hill. You're like, no, ghost hunger. She doesn't negate. You can go ahead and I activate my effect, sure. You use Ghost Dog to destroy me, that's fine. But my effect, it doesn't negate my effect, so. You can go ahead. Ghost doesn't negate. I negated the effect of all time on Ghost. No, you didn't. Ghost doesn't negate, fool. Shit. And of course, fucking Cosmotown's still gonna go off. That too. Go ahead and get your effect. Is it optional? You can add a Cosmo card from the deck to your hand. Oh, if you forget that effect. Not Cosmotown. Okay. So you don't want Cosmotown. Okay, I say you can cause town effect, but I guess you don't want it, so whatever. Multiple ghost ogres. So I can just go ahead and do recurring. I mean, I can do recurring and grab, like, these guys back. What do I want to do with them? That's the question. You're the 1800 guy. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and attack and see what this card is. If I need to respond or not. Do you like Serene Psychic Witch? Card is not just to change defense position. Once per turn, you can send one card from your hand to guard. Lock one psychic monster in your graveyard and remove from play. When this card is sent from the field to guard, select remove from play and special summon it. Okay. Might just cast all that. Alright, so I will go ahead and take you. And you. Now we use my fact. Go ahead and summon. Mm, summon you. Just in case. I might want to hold on to you just in case shit hits the fan. I feel like dealing with your ass right now. I said I know Cosmos. I've dueled this deck a couple of times. Shuffle. I detached two, didn't I, bitch? I mean shuffle. Holy shit. Mmm. Stupid duel. <laughs> he hasn't got any of his strong uh, cosmos yet. Another Armageddon Knight, great. Cool story, bro. Glad you're putting in so much work, Armageddon Knight. I got it. I think I got it. I threw all three of them again and it's been dark back first now. Good. I'm glad you get down draws. <sighs> hmm. 
I didn't draw fantastical either. I wish I didn't draw you, Bill. So you can pay 500 life points to flip me to face down defense position? That wouldn't be a terrible idea, because if you don't, I'm just going to run you over, so... You gonna do the banish one, or you gonna do the pay five hundred? Okay. Like that time. You could have attacked. You could have attacked. You could have attacked. So, can't be targeted. That's fine. During some pays again, a thousand light points. That's fine. This card is destroyed. Sit in the graveyard by card effect. You special summon at level six or lower. Cosmo from your deck. Ugh. So floaty. My turn arm again. Not to defense mode. Go ahead and summon Mask Chameleon. Mask Chameleon. Go ahead and summon back someone, any Umbra. Go ahead and sink into hot, hot, kill the Cosmo Forerunner. Whenever he summons, I can kill that too. Even if he has the, what's it called, the 2200, 2300 playing guy. It, I don't have any back row. But then when that guy's destroyed by battle, he gets to summon another Cosmo guy. Oh, that's so annoying. They float. They float. They have the, they, they're semi-floatable. That kinda has floaties on. I said I would love to <laughs> to try to take out everything, but I I really can't. Why can't I summon? This is a long video, another long video. Apologize, people, but when I deal with fucking people like this, it's just like really. Why can't I? It, read it again, read it again, carefully. You, 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 you have a really hard time reading. For some odd reason, you do. God. <laughs> this is like the third time where you're like, oh, you can't do that. Like, read it again. They make this deck so fucking floaty. Right. Since this card is destroyed by battle or by card effect in center graveyard, right? you can special summon. You can banish this card from your graveyard, special summon one level six or lower. Cause a monster from your deck, so. And then the one guy's like, oh, when I'm destroyed by battle, then. This doesn't target. Really? Hot doesn't target. Oh my god. Doesn't affect Forerunner, like, oh my god. Fool. Why do we do with people in the end? It's fine. So you gonna summon that shit, bitch? The on it's like when it's show battle, you summon like a level five or lower. Then I think I know Cosmos a little bit. They're just you know what's a good what's it? How to make an archetype good? Make it floaty. Make it floaty. And this deck is oh, this deck is semi floatable. Not even a fucking word. Okay, you gonna summon? Okay. Mm-hmm. You can only do that you can only do that during oh my god, your turn. Wow. Wow. You really can't read.
For some reason, you gained life points. Like, okay. You want your effect again? Because it's not once per turn. Mm hmm. Okay, you got the ship guy. Destroyed by Battle Bark Artifacts, sent to Granite. Yep, yeah, they all say that. Go ahead. Why do they all say that? The big ship, the ship ones. It's weird. So then he can summon a level 4 lower from his deck. So then he summons him, he summons another one, he summons another one. It's just like, damn. They're all touching each other. But hey, that's what makes a new deck good, right? Kill my arm again, I, that's fine. Unless you have an honest, of course. Oh, this cute. No. What do you say? Target one card you control. This card is face up on the field. Card you have cannot. Okay. What do you mean? How? How? How would you be able to banish her from the graveyard? You mean to use her effect? You mean to use her effect? Let's say, like, no. Oh, I got another recurring. That's cool. I was gonna crash, but now I'm just gonna use reoccurring. And this has to be during my main phase one. Summon you. Use your effect. Drop you down. Go ahead and special summon you. Or lay you two into. Oh, I can go into one on one and just take them. Yeah, that'd be that'd be a nice way to end this duel. You're not the one that can't be targeted. That's the forerunner. Slip rider. Go ahead and give me a 16 material. Attack directly for game. Hopefully you got another Yuki Yasagi, like a Ghost Ogre Snow Rabbit. They already played two, so that's already like what, 160 bucks? So you wanna just top it out at 240, not including the frickin' uh Galaxy Cyclones and the uh, Farm Girls, even though you haven't played Farm Girl all fucking duel. Fuck your play. This game. I know your plays. I I see you. I see right through you. Driving me crazy, sitting here trying to babysit you. You're like, oh, I know how to use combos, Cosmos. I love them, and you're not even playing them right. Like, fucking. So, there we go. Like I said, I'll probably tweak the deck a little bit. Maybe put some monsters there, like three level fours. I can, I can pull that off. And I don't know. I don't know what to do about drawing you, Bell. Like I said, this is the worst thing to draw. But like I said, I don't need a dark reference. I don't need to send that much. So, it's just hard to find the ratio of senders and, you know, stuff like that. But probably don't need as many Armageddon Knights. Really, I only need to send one. I only use the running green Armageddon Knights because I saw Ember Deck running three Armageddon Knights. But you really don't need that many. So I probably might cut him down. Maybe increase Dark Refer just in case. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to call up. So apologize if this video is long. But hey, you know what? At least I got through a fucking duel. At least I got through a fucking duel that was decent. So, anyway, thanks for watching, thanks for all the support, and, uh, yeah, see you guys tomorrow with whatever deck I decide to be next in this week of trying other things. Alright, people, thanks for watching.